with uh, Palm Sunday procession. We are in Bet Fadj, which is the Arabic name of the Hebrew name, Bet Pagi, which is the house of the small and the green um, uh, figs. And you can see the Palm Sunday procession. You saw the Israeli police that organize everything. The first one that you will see are the Ottomans, kind of the Ottomans, uh, 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 Muslims, uh, that supposed to, it's a part of tradition uh, from the Ottoman time. Uh, they used to take care of the Christians. Here, they are kind of, it's kind of a symbolic thing. And then you will see most of the Catholic Christians and they will sing, uh, they started to sing Oshana, Oshana, which is save us, save us in Arabic, in Hebrew. The Jews are doing it every year, but not on Passover. They do it in Sukkot. You can hear the stick of those kind of Ottomans. Uh, Keeper, the traditional duty of them, because now they don't need it. And then, look at the rest. The, uh, the Arab Palestinian uh, scouts. At the beginning, it actually starts slowly, slowly, and then there it's getting static, which is beautiful to see when they will enter to Jerusalem. We are at Mount of Olives, climbing up to the top of Mount of Olives, and from there we will enter to Jerusalem. It's every year, but this year, because of Corona virus, COVID-19, there's no tourist. Uh, most of them are local Arabs and, uh, and workers who work in, in, in Israel. Although it's not as it's usual, as usual, usually it's more than 20,000, 30,000 people, still it's other people. They are singing in Arabic, of course. We are in a Palm Sunday procession. I don't know if you can see between those two wires, there's a small hill with a top. Yeah, that's the tomb of King Herod, Herodion. This is the eastern part of Mount of Olives. The top of Mount of Olives is there, that is Pater Neuster Church Alwana, which is one of the oldest church in the world. And you can see the procession heading through us. Together with Itzik. The first part of the procession is climbing up. Not easy, but you can do that. Sadly, as I said, no tourists today because of COVID-19. But lot of scouts, lot of yeah, the Palestinian scouts, the local scouts, the Arabs, Arab Christians, which we have only two percent of them in Israel and Palestine.
as you can see, I'm sure that you know those uh, songs, but it's in Arabic. Remember, it's in local. This is the highest place of Mount of Olives. We are at a Palm Sunday procession. Here, beside a beautiful ceremony, you can see the top of a mosque, which is the place of the ascension. That's where Jesus ascended into heaven and promised us to come back from the same place. Here, that amazing church, uh, this is one of the first churches ever uh, when St. Helen, the mother of Constantine, built churches in Jerusalem, which is the beginning of Christianity, she built three churches. One of them is here. This is Alwana, uh, the first church ever, together with the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The Crusaders call it Paternoster, and here, according to the tradition, Jesus taught the disciples the Pater Nuster, uh, Father Ruzenev, uh, Ruzenev, the Lord's Prey, in that area. Uh, it's a beautiful church, but now we are heading to the west part of uh, Mount of Olives, and Jerusalem is there as well. Then, are you following me? Palms of the Procession 2021. This is Jerusalem, you can see the Tomb of the Rock, which is the site of the Jewish Temple, and the wall that surrounded the Jewish Temple, which was built by King Herod. That gate is where Jesus is supposed to enter to the city at Palm Sunday, enter to the city of Palm Sunday, and he will enter again. But now it's a Muslim site. According to the Muslim, this is the place that Muhammad descended into heaven, a holy, beautiful Jerusalem. And I'm here because of Palm Sunday procession, and soon you will see the procession itself. But before that, here, there's another place. That's where Jesus saw Jerusalem on Palm Sunday procession and actually cried. This is Dominus Flavid. And amazing, isn't it? You can hear the church bells. And soon you will see the you will see the um, procession. And it, here it is. Now you can see the procession itself. The view will be of Jerusalem. From here they're heading to Dominus Plavit where the Lord wept and saw Jerusalem. And he said one day that city will be under siege and nothing, nothing will be there anymore. Everything will be destroyed. And from there, through the Garden of Gethsemane, the place that Jesus was betrayed by Judas, and he will be betrayed by Judas in about a week, they will reach the city. They will enter kind of the temple. The temple now it's a Muslim site, and they won't be able to do that. The next day, there's St. Saint Anna Church, and compound, that's where they're going to be. As you already know, this procession is without tourists mainly due to COVID-19.
And soon they will be static. They will dance. They will sing. It's it's kind of a victory tour of Christians and Jesus into the into the city. It started from Bethphage to land in Jerusalem, and it actually this is the beginning of the Holy Week, Easter. Soon. You can see the procession heading on. More and more people are stopping here to take pictures of the temple. And next to the temple is Dominus Flavit, the Lord wept compound. From there, he actually saw Jerusalem and cry and say, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, soon they will make a siege around you. And nothing will be left there, including the temple. Palm Sunday, 2021. We are at Jerusalem. It's May, uh, Sunday, Palm Sunday procession is heading on. I'm just a little bit before them. I wanted you to see uh, the view of the city of Jerusalem. We are at Mount of Olives. You can see here um, the Jewish cemetery from the time of King David until now. If you're talking about ancient tombs, you can see Absalom tomb right there. The, after the son of King David, the tomb site itself is from the time of King Herod, first century. The wall that you see in front of you is the wall that King Herod built to create a big plaza. On top of it, he built a Jewish temple. That was instead of the Dome of the Rock that you see today. It was built on top of the first stone ever. When God created the world, he started it from there. And it was between two to three times higher and bigger than the Dome of the Rock. Why so big? To impress, to impress, to impress. Today you can see the, um, the Dome of the Rock, which is the place that Muhammad ascended into heaven to meet God himself and gave him the fire press of, of the day. To the left, Al-Aqsa Mosque with a great dome. That is Mount Zion. The room of the Last Supper is there, and we are in the Holy Week. Then we are talking about if that, now it's Sunday, on Thursday it's going to be um, there. Not so far away from here, I'm trying to point for you in that area. It's the High Priest House, when Jesus was taken from Garden of Gethsemane, which is not so far away. It's just beneath us. You will see it soon. He was taken to there, but they just couldn't. Judge him. The one who judged him was Pontius Pilate, which is, according to so many, the area of his uh, cult was right there. And then he went all the way to the church of the Holy Sepulchre. I don't know if you can see, there is a kind of a dome behind the Golden Dome, Great Dome. This is the church of the Holy Sepulchre, according to so many, and some believe that it was taken to the garden tomb. Then there are two Golgotha's, two tombs of Jesus in Jerusalem. But most of the Christians believe in that. The Jews usually bury at the same day, they purify their body, 
and uh, yeah, put a shroud around them and bury them with it in the ground, just like Jesus was buried. Jesus was buried just like any other Jew in the world until today. Suddenly you will hear the noise of the procession. Procession started from the other side of Mount of Olive, from that side, I mean. And uh, I'm standing next to Dominus Flavi Church entrance. Now, suddenly it's closed, I want to go in. But that's where Jesus saw Jerusalem and went. That's why I'm standing very close to the church to show you what is so, but sadly the right part of it is missing because of the wall. But can you understand how amazing that view is? Can you imagine that Jewish temple that was there instead of the Dome of Rock? And it was huge! Amazing, isn't it? Now, in about two minutes you will see them, but don't worry, for you it's going to be less than one second. Well, I promise you the procession, but before that you can actually see someone else, Jacob, which looks like Jesus, dressed like Jesus, walk like Jesus, but he's not Jesus. Jacob just love. Love to dress like him. Amazing, isn't it? Jacob! Happy Easter! <laughs> How are you? Good, great, Dad. <laughs> great. You're not waiting with us? I know. See you, back home. And here they come. Yeah, those are the first ones. Oh, now reaching the place to Jesus. So Jerusalem from the first, for, I mean, actually, almost for the last time. Uh, in that case, I'm happy with it. Make me busy. I'm studying a lot, researching before the video. Oh God. Yeah, God is with me. <laughs> that's that's that. There, there's no differences. God was there, and will be there with me. Then, in that case, I'm telling my audience that they are entering now. A few of them to Dominus Flavit to pray. I'm almost sure that we won't be able to do that. They're probably like a, a group at a time, just like yeah. they're breaking down only yeah. so many at a time. And uh, can, can, I, can, 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 can I take a video of you? All right, this is Jacob. Jacob came to be my, almost, my, I can say, I cannot say best friend, but he's my friend when I see uh, him in Jerusalem, walking like the first century. Like uh, the best friend. Yes, yeah, the best friend. It, it actually makes me happy. Uh, and where are you? Are you you're, where are you, you from? What? I have lived for 40 years with no home, no place. And literally, like when Jesus said, the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. No possessions, no money, and I didn't use money other than for Who needs years. money? I don't have money for a year. I didn't get well, it. Even one check. Especially now. Yes. <laughs> we realize it. But you know what? I realize that I can live without it. Right. The world realizes it. Yes. 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 And I'm happy for that. No, I studied so many good things in the, this Only year. A system, and there's a better system. Charity, love. You know. Yes. You're right. Doing things because you want to. People doing because they want. True. To. When you're right, when you're right, you're right. But why are you staying in Jerusalem? I literally live with no home. Oh, everywhere. But I'm most of the time in the Holy Sepulchre. They allow me at any time now. Really? Including nighttime? Even at nighttime. I'm, I'm the so only person jealous. I'm so jealous. <laughs> but you know where I will be oftentimes at night to rest? It's at the ninth station. They allow me. To... Love the place. I love the place. On the roof. Yeah, yeah. I love the place. I've been in National Geographic, and they took a lot of pictures, but the only two they published, two pages, is up there at the ninth station, where I will rest and pray. Oh, can I hug you, or it's not allowed? Huh? Can I hug you, or it's not allowed? Well, it's probably best not to. Then, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I'm, you know, when I see him, I'm, I'm being cured. I mean, I'm cured. I feel God in you. Then see you, too many people for me. Bye-bye. Okay. Bless you. And that was Jacob, and we are now heading uh, 
to the next station, the church uh, of the Nativity, the place that Jesus actually was uh, betrayed by Judas. Um, and that's going to be my next video. And now at the entrance to Garden of Gethsemane, that's where Jesus betray, was betrayed by Judas. But sadly, it's closed because of uh, mainly because of uh, uh, coronavirus, but because of Palm Sunday procession uh, too. And uh, I wanted you to see the most important olive trees. Sadly, I cannot. I don't know if I will be, if you can, can see, be able to see something. I'm almost sure that you cannot, but at least I tried. The procession will be here soon. We started from Bedford and we went all the way up to the um, top of Mount of Olives and now we're in the slopes of Mount of Olives. Here, Jesus will arrive again on Thursday night to pray and here it will be catched by the high priest and um, uh, and the Romans and the agony of Jesus will begin next day Friday good Friday he will be crucified died will be buried and then he will raise again resurrect again on Sunday Palm Sunday Procession, 2021. Oshana. Oshana. That's only the beginning of it. And... Oshana is actually in Aramite in Hebrew. Save us. Save us. Oshana. Oshana. Wanted to, uh, wanted you to see the facade of the Garden of God Seventy Church. Then please wait with me because most of the procession is not here yet. They stopped in Dominus Flavit, the Lord Web Church, to pray. Then here it is. First of all, you can see the garden. This is the Garden of Gethsemane. That's where Jesus spent his last night, night as a free man. The church is a new one, but it was built on top of a church from the 4th century. The church that you see here is only from 1924. Yes. Above it you can see a Russian church, Mary Magdalene Church. And again the trees are right here. You can see the olive trees. It's the best time of the day because you can actually see blue sky and the sun is shining at the right place. All right, they are not so happy because we are blocking them, the procession, but they knew about it. Here it is. Garden of Gethsemane, actually three names to their church. Garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane is now to your left side. Uh, the Agony Church, because it's an agony story. An old nation church, because in 1924, it was built by 12 different nations. Let me show you the other side. Because the procession is still somewhere there. The sun now will be in our eyes. This is the Gidron Valley, Joseph Valley, and you can see they are excavating and finding new things. The only thing that I can tell you is that I don't know what it is yet. They didn't publish it. But you can see the wall of the city. And the mercy gate, the golden gate, according to tradition, Jesus entered on Palm Sunday through here to the temple because the temple is behind that. But we will enter through the other gate, the lion's gate. 
and you can see the Jewish cemetery. And if you saw my previous video, or maybe I will arrange it to one big, very really long video, you can see the tomb of Absalom, the son of, son of King David, right there. This beautiful one. See there, David is there. Joseph at Valley, the kid, um, the Kindred Valley, same name to the same thing. Beautiful day, isn't it? And are you waiting for me to see the rest? Yes, you are. Thank you. We're now at the Lion's Gate, which is one of the entrances to Jerusalem. The pilgrims of the Palm Sunday procession will enter through here soon. Meanwhile, I want you to see the gate itself. Why it's called the Lion Gates? Mainly because there are two lions. Which are not really lions, but at both sides of the gate. This is one of the eight gates of Jerusalem. And uh, from here you can go straight to the Via della Rosa, the Muslim quarter, the, the temple, El Aqsa. And from here, from that side, you can see Mount of Olives. Look how sunny it is. And the pilgrims will be here soon. I'm gonna wait for them. You will see them in about one second. Until I will, they will come, it will take time. We decided to go first to St. Anna Church to show you the place. Let's see if it's open. So go to Uh This is St. Han Church. That's Bethesda. Pools are, and according to the Catholic, that's where Mary was uh, was born. Beautiful place to visit, but it's closed. I will go back to the Lions Gate to show you a little bit of the parade, and then we will say goodbye. We're back at the Lion Gates, and I realized that will be no ceremony at St. Anne. Then let me show you a little bit of the pilgrims who are heading to the city and we will say goodbye. Uh, pilgrims are right there waiting to climb up to the Lion Gate. Awesome, awesome. That. See you in my next video. Well, now we're in our Garden of Gethsemane, that's where Jesus was betrayed. Uh, that's where Jesus was betrayed by Judas. This is Garden of Gethsemane. It's closed now, but you can see the Palm Sunday procession. Thousands of thousands of local Arabs, Christian Arabs, no tourists because of COVID-19, uh, are here to celebrate the last journey of Jesus, the victory of Jesus entering into the city of Jerusalem, which is. There, you see the walls of the city. And if it's not enough, there's so many other things here. Let me show you before they will come. Um, you can see that they are static now. Before they will come, I want you to see another church. This is the 12th century facade of an amazing church from the 5th century. That's where Mary, the mother, died. Actually, didn't die. She fell asleep. They took her body. Uh, Jesus took her soul immediately, and three days later, it, it took her body as well. Then the tomb, which is there, down there, is actually empty. And here you can see the procession are. Thank you. 
This is only the beginning. We sold the mask. I'm going to the mask. A lot of the songs that you hear are in Arabic mainly because it's the local Arabs operating here, no tourists. And as close as they are reaching Jerusalem, they are becoming more static and static. It's supposed to be so cold today, but it's not, it's hot. We are crossing the Kidron Valley, heading to Jerusalem, to the city. You can see the Garden of Gethsemane, Mary Magdalene Church, the area of the tomb of Mary. Look how beautiful it is. We're now at the Lion's Gate, which is one of the entrances to Jerusalem. The pilgrims of the Palm Sunday procession will enter through here soon. Meanwhile, I want you to see the gate itself. Why it's called the Lion Gates? Mainly because there are two lions, which are not really lions, but at both sides of the gate. This is one of the eight gates of Jerusalem and uh, from here you can go straight to the Via della Rosa, the Muslim Quarter, the, the Temple, El Aqsa and from here, from that side, you can see Mount of Olives. Look how sunny it is. And the pilgrims will be here soon. I'm going to wait for them. You will see them in about one second. Until I will, they will come and it will take time, we decided to go first to St. Anna Church to show you the place. Let's see if it's open. So go uh, Shuki. This is St. Han Church. That's Bethesda. Pools are and according to the Catholic, that's where Mary was, uh, was born. Beautiful place to visit, but it's closed. I will go back to the Lions Gate to show you a little bit of the parade and then we will say goodbye. We're back at the Lion Gates and I realized there will be no ceremony at St. Anne. Then let me show you a little bit of the pilgrims who are heading to the city and we will say goodbye.
Workers are uh, pilgrims are right there, waiting to climb up to the Lion Gate. Awesome, awesome. Took time, but here they are entering slowly, slowly into some and the church. I just heard that they will open the church soon. We are at the Lions Gate. Here we are at the light gate. I'm not going to wait for them, then I will enter to the gate. But soon you will see all the bus. See you! <laughs> see you soon actually! Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> now we enter to the old city. We are at the Muslim quarter. The ceremony itself is at um, the gate itself.